Good morning. And isn't this a turn up for the books? Me doing the programme's Thought for the Week instead of presenting the programme on BBC Radio Cumbria. Over 20 years ago, someone said to me in passing, Have you ever thought about becoming a vicar? I think you'd be good, they said. Well, I'd never really thought that God would call me to anything, let alone to be ordained. You might feel the same way. Think that God would never call you to anything because you're not good enough, or you don't know enough about him, or you're not posh enough, or religious, or academic. The list could go on. But Jesus calls those you'd least expect. In the Bible, we're told he called fishermen to be his disciples, his followers. And fishermen at the time of Jesus were very rough and ready. They were definitely not part of the elite. They will probably have been big, burly, rough blokes with scars of their trade and quite foul mouth to boot. But they possessed useful skills. They were most likely multilingual, had some degree of business savvy, and most importantly, they were hard working. Even today, God is calling every single person to be a follower of his. Now, that doesn't mean that God is calling everyone to be priests or vicars, but he could be calling people to be his followers with other roles in everyday life. Your calling from God could be to be a lay leader in church, or a church cleaner, or a mum, or a teacher, or a firefighter, or an accountant. Whatever the calling is that God has for us, the most important thing is that we hear it and answer. God calls each of us by name to a role he has for us in the growing of his kingdom here on earth. And it can happen quite quickly, in a flash and a bang kind of experience, or more slowly over many months or even years. And after many years of thinking and waiting and conversations and listening and at times disappointments, I along with seven others had our lives changed when we were ordained deacons in Carlisle Cathedral yesterday. Seven more people will be ordained priests in Cumbria over the coming days. Each of us listened. We heard God's call. And more importantly, we answered. One of my favourite worship songs says these words. Here I am, Lord. It is I, Lord. I have heard you calling in the night. I will go, Lord, if you lead me. I will hold your people in my heart. I wonder if you'd do me a favour this week. Do a bit of listening. Listen to God to see if you can hear his call on you. And don't be surprised how that call comes and what that call is. Just be brave and say, Here I am, Lord. Send me. So let us pray. Almighty God, giver of all goodness and gifts, we thank you that you know each of us by name and call us by that name. May we hear your call and respond to it, whatever it might be. All to glorify you. And in your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.